What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with another mail day. Uh, just a couple Huddy pickups. 2013 tribute autographs Sepia BGS 9 uh, autograph 10. 20 out of 35. I really like this. The look of this. These few uh, tribute sets graded in person. Sorry about the glare on that one. And uh, lone one of one. Uh, 2004 Playoff Prime Cuts Dual Jersey Encased, one of one. There's the Dual Jersey and the one of one. So not a lot in the way of hoodies. Uh, there was a 2001 SP Authentic Chirography Gold Parallel to 15 that I don't know that I've ever seen before that I... Uh, missed out on last night, but um, yeah, win some, you lose some. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing. I've been incrementally picking up Dorsett's, uh, Philip Dorsett stuff too, including a few of the new Luxes and whatnot, but uh, that is the current stack of redemptions for just Philip Dorsett, and there are more incoming, so uh, I will show those in greater detail when they are actual cards. Novel concept there. Uh, last Supreme Group break I was going to join was a uh, 2K sir, where I just had the Dorset spot. Um, same guy that uh, I hit the one of one base, uh, two regular bases, and a 25 of 50. So, uh, done with Supreme. Uh, National Treasures is afoot, and I have the first couple of those pickups coming in. Uh, one of the Lux Redemptions was part of a two-card lot, including this die-cut uh, uh, two-color patch with stitching 37-49. Red version. I don't know what's the technically the base, and I think there's like a silver or maybe a blue. And I don't know. Uh, another one of these came along for cheap and landed it. A uh, 10 of 49 uh, Clear Vision uh, Jumbo Patch, which these things are bricks. Like, like the biggest top loaders I have. Like I think they're like the 5 millimeter depth, which I think somewhere north of 197. I want to say it's like a 238 point. Um... Quick mention to Tim uh, Mousy. Uh, Tim uh, asked me about uh, magne determining magnetic size. So first, I have a really understanding supply guy, and I've cracked through some stuff um, right there at the table, kind of like guessing my way through things, um, where I'll kind of like bring stuff to the show, and then kind of set up adjacent to the table and. Start with what I think like a middle one out of the group is going to be, and then kind of guess test and revise from there. But um, if you're trying to order in bulk, obviously it helps if you know the same size uh, for everything that you're, you're trying to get. Um, and that's one of the reasons why when I started with the MMA autos, why uh, I was only getting the regular ones was because I knew they were just going to be 20 pointers. And then they started screwing with the stock card stock of just the, the regular autos. So I uh, ended up having to expand from there anyway. And um, to his point, you don't want the face of the card smushed up against the hinge. And you also don't want them so recessed that as they're in a box, which, you know, for some of us, if we, if we like to look at our cards or if we're sorting, you know, things in incrementally as we get them, uh, they do move, so we don't want them rattling around inside the magnetic. So the trick that I had uh, developed was if you have a thicker size card, uh, one, if you have top loaders for it, that kind of tells you, and you can use the top loaders as the guide, or what I told him was we know the standard size card it will fit in a 20-point stock uh, magnetic or top loader, so then just use flat 20-point cards to stack up and figure out, okay, well, this card is 5 thick, so that's 20 times 5 is 100, so it's the 108 point uh, will be the closest one. So kind of use that as a, as a unit of measure, again, if you're not buying a la carte from a dealer like I usually deal with, uh, if you're trying to buy in bulk or if you're just having stuff mailed to you. 
Um, so hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Um, and then again, just while I was talking, I thought of the whole top loader thing too. So that's another way of doing it, using the, the top loaders uh, that you would use as a guide, um, which are, generally speaking, less expensive. You can usually get them uh, in you know, multi-packs for, you know, for, for less than what a mag will cost you because the mags start at like $1.50 or more depending on where you get them. Um, so yeah, little sidebar. Uh, I was in a an immaculate break where I had door set. Um, I hit one card, this last card outright, and then went two for two on the randoms. And I don't, generally speaking, do well with randoms. So I was very pleased with this. Uh, 12 out of 99, uh, dual jersey with uh, Dorset and Duke Johnson. 11 of 49 quad jersey. Um, he didn't sell spots for Hilton and Moncrief, so it was just down to uh, Andrew Luck and Dorset, and Dorset spot won it. So Luck, Hilton, Moncrief, Dorset, 11 of 49. And my immediate reaction when I saw it was Luck is 12, Hilton is 13, Moncrief is 10, Dorset is 15, and this is 11, so right in the middle of that minefield. Uh, did not get any of their jersey numbers. And then the one card that I knew I had outright, but I thought for some reason it was higher numbered than this. I, I don't know why I thought that. Um, but it was a nice way to be pleasantly surprised by, again, something I knew was coming. I just kind of screwed up the numbering on. Uh, 4 of 10, this uh, jumbo paint patch. Uh, four color, I guess this is the gold parallel jersey of Dorset from the Miami uniform. So this was the, the pro immaculate, but because they got and were wanting to presumably pimp out the college license, they put him all in Miami stuff on the front, and then Colts logo on the back. It's almost like it's two different cards. Really strange. I mean, yeah, the blurb on the back references that he was at in Miami and talks about a big game that he had, but the front and back of these cards, this card doesn't match to me. I'm sorry. Just weird looking. But, uh, yeah. So, three hits for cost of admission. Not too bad. Um, another one of the redemption cards was part of a two-card lot with this uh, purple uh, prism uh, draft picks and prospects, 46 of 99. Dorset Auto. Finally bro found a, a price that I liked on one of these. Broke down, bought it. Because uh, I, I never hit one in any of the breaks. Um, 2015 Supreme, two-color, uh, Relic Auto, 24.45. Horizontal uh, orientation dealio there. Uh, a couple of Reggie Wayne pickups uh, negotiated a price on this. I, I think this was actually in a larger lot that I stumbled across, and then I didn't buy the lot, and then the guy ended up just posting a bunch of singles from it. Anyway, so 2013 score football, uh, card number 280, so it's the high number, the franchise subset, Reggie Wayne. Uh, black plate. So glad I didn't have to go through the hassle of buying a lot for one card, and then selling off the rest, because uh, I've done that before. Uh, a couple of cards from RJ, uh, Big Blue Forever on eBay. Uh, it seems like he's about run his course with the stuff he's selling. He'll probably pop back up again. I'm sure he's got more stuff to sell. Um, two of these Panini private signings uh, from their Super Bowl promotion uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, so this is the regular version of the autograph, three of five, encased. I don't know that I have a Panini promo encased card like this. But now I've got two because I also got the uh, black foil one of one auto. It's part of the same sale. It's down there by his hand that extends beyond the border of the one of one. I can see that a little bit better. And I paid. Oh god. I think I paid about 10 bucks less for both of these than I know that he paid for this one because I went back and looked it up because I lost that card to him at one point. So, glad to see those come home. Um, surprisingly accepted offer on this one. Uh, 
Probably had another about 10 bucks to go before it hit my max, so I'm glad this guy accepted it. Uh, 2015 Supreme T.Y. Hilton uh, autographed one of one black plate. some point I'll probably pick up the regular version of that card, maybe. Um, the namesake of the video, can I buy a bell? Uh, the uh, Philip Dorset Supreme, uh, not Supreme, Definitive, one of one, letter E. I was thinking about filming this on Easter and doing an E hyphen Easter thing, but can I buy a vowel one of one mail day works for me too. And, um, I honestly didn't know what this was from when I bought it initially, and it's interesting how this is done. I, I believe, and it's, and it's tough to tell because they don't picture the part of the, the, the hat that this is supposed to come from. So this is from Immaculate, Rookie Player Caps, and, and what I believe this is is that there's like a fitted portion across the back of the cap. And this is the NFL logo shield, one of one, from that hat band. And for those of you who are watching a lot of the preview breaks of National Treasures that came out last week before the official release on Friday that they did as part of their little spring training road trip, whatever deal, um, I'm wondering if it's that same hat that the entire button top part, part was used for the NT one of one auto that they pulled then and is now subsequently on eBay for a ton of money. A um, lot of negotiation to get this card, but uh, I think it's going to be one of the more unique ones in my in my collection. I mean, I'm up to oh that I can think of off the top of my head at least three logo shields, um, a couple of the rubber ones and a, and a, and a full size one. Um, yeah, right up there with the with the definitive chin strap cards that I've seen popping uh, every so often. Uh, this is one of the more interesting cards, you know, relic cards that I've seen, and uh, I'm glad I landed it. So I know it could use some ink and whatnot, but uh, still some nice event worn since we can't say game used anymore. Um, player worn memorabilia, we'll call it. So, um, to those of you who are breaking, good luck in your endeavors. Um, should have some interesting ones in the next mail day. And uh, start my Dart League playoffs this week. And uh, hopefully we will do well at that. And uh, I'll be talking about that for a few more weeks to come. So, uh, shout out to uh, Chad. Thundering24 and uh, Baby Griffey showed him in the uh, the last video and uh, boy that that that, that kid's gonna <laughs> he's not gonna know what's going on when you bring him to Cooperstown this year but it's gonna be quite a story for later on in life when that happens so uh, that's it that's all I got all right YouTube peace.